Okay, this is my three tier tray this month, this season. Yes, I know it's different. I tried a Pinterest hack. Um, it wasn't a fail, but I know what I do different. What you did, you bought a watermelon, and mine was not evenly shaped. It was kind of bigger on one end than the other. It was kind of odd shaped. So if I was doing this again, I would buy one that was more evenly shaped. And this one was so super ripe, it, when you'd cut the rind off, it would basically disintegrate. I'll show you the back. <laughs> See how it disintegrated as I cut it, when I cut it in a circle? So I wouldn't get one quite as ripe and, and better shaped. But what this is, you can use the, this is a party, as like a three-tiered cake or a four-tiered cake. And you can add grapes, pineapple, they said, um, marshmallows, and all the things that you would use for a fudge, a, a, a chocolate fondue fountain. And this is just a more decorative way to display. You could use pineapple, you could use melon, you could use grapes, marshmallows, you could even have graham crackers in this thing on skewers and stuff. So you could use this as your fudge for your, your fond, chocolate fondue. And I just wanted to try it to see if it really worked. And this is how it turned out. And I think it would be it would be just fine if I had it had got a better shaped watermelon and it wasn't quite so ripe. But I think it would be absolutely yummy for a fall party or fall get together or even Thanksgiving to have this with some chocolate fondue. And there's your three-tier tray. And, of course, I cut the, skewer, the skewers down some. And you can decorate it however you liked. But this is just an idea of a different type of three-tier tray instead of just the decorative type. This is the yummy type. 